It's Umsum time. <laughs> Why are pizza boxes square? Hmm? <laughs> Cause square is what's in right now. Nah. Hey you, come over here. Mm. Even though pizza's around, huh? square boxes are preferred. Why? This is because a square box is made using just oh. a single cardboard sheet. Wow. Oh. Hmm. While a round box requires several sheets. <laughs> that need to be joined together using special machinery. Holy moly! So, it is cheaper and simpler to make square boxes. Yes! As square boxes can be easily assembled on site, they are transported in the form of flat cardboard sheets, easily stacked on one another. <laughs> However, round boxes need to be first assembled. This makes it difficult to transport and store these huge piles of boxes on site. Hmm? Further, there are empty spaces around the pizza in the ah. square box, making it hmm. easy to lift the pizza slice. The empty spaces can even be used to place chili flakes, oregano, etc. Hmm. Topic: Heat. <coughs> Why is a laboratory thermometer not used to check body temperature? <coughs> oh, you have got fever. <coughs> Why don't you check your body temperature using a thermometer? Hmm. No, please don't use a laboratory oh. thermometer. You won't be able to get the correct reading. Why don't you try another one? This is called a clinical thermometer. A clinical thermometer is different from a laboratory thermometer. Oh, seems like you have made your choice. A clinical thermometer has a kink. When we check our body temperature, the kink present in it prevents the mercury from falling back down, thus helping the thermometer to hold the temperature recorded by it and giving us an accurate reading. Hmm. Now, in a laboratory thermometer, huh? this kink is absent. This is because a laboratory thermometer is meant to measure immediate temperature. Hence, hmm? after recording our body temperature, until we check it, the mercury will fall, thus not giving us an accurate reading. <laughs> Topic: Anaerobic respiration. <laughs> what is the huh? cause of muscle cramps? Excess sleep. No. Respiration is a process in which the cells of our body produce energy. <laughs> Normally, our cells respire aerobically. In this process, <laughs> the glucose, with the help of oxygen, is completely broken down to produce energy, water, and carbon dioxide. Is this energy then used for all our activities? Indeed. <laughs> However, during heavy exercise, our body cannot deliver oh. enough oxygen to the cells of our muscles. Hence, in such situations, anaerobic respiration helps us to produce some energy temporarily and thus continue our work. In anaerobic huh? respiration, the glucose is partially broken down in the absence of oxygen to produce comparatively less amount of energy and a waste product called lactic acid. Now, one of the most prominent reasons for the muscle cramps huh? is the accumulation of this lactic acid. <laughs> Why huh? is glass transparent? Give me minimum five years to unravel its mystery. All right, now listen. Any substance is said to be transparent when particles of visible light called oh. photons are not absorbed by the substance and thus they easily oh. pass through the substance. Hmm. However, if huh? the photons get absorbed, then the substance is said to be opaque. But why do some substances absorb photons while others don't? Whether a substance will absorb the photons or not depends upon the gaps present in between the orbits of electrons of that substance. If the gaps in a substance are small, then the electrons of that substance are able to absorb the photons which pass through those gaps, making the substance opaque. Hmm. However, in glass, the gaps are big. Hence, most of the photons do not get absorbed. They easily pass through oh. those gaps, making glass transparent. <laughs> what is arthritis? It is a chemical formed by mixing hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. 
Oh, dude, from where do you get such ideas? To explain arthritis, we need to first understand what a joint is. A joint is a place where two bones meet. When there is inflammation, swelling, or pain in one or more joints, then it is termed as arthritis. The cause of arthritis depends upon the type of arthritis. Mm. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder. In this disorder, our immune cells mistakenly start attacking the tissue surrounding a joint and thus damage it. This leads to inflammation, swelling, and pain in the joint. Osteoarthritis occurs when the cartilage that cushions the ends of bones in a joint gradually breaks down and wears away. As a result, the bones begin to rub against each other, causing swelling and pain in that joint. Hmm.